going to digitize a diagram for privacy screen. Before I start any tracing, I like to verify that my two boards are working correctly with the computer. Go to Setup and Configure and follow the instructions. What you're going to end up doing here is touching the pen on Table 1 and verifying that table works and touching the pen on Table 2 and verify that that table is working correctly. This also shows that the ports are working correct. Now that everything checks out, you're ready to digitize. We're going to digitize the full-size plans to build these three privacy screen panels. The full-size plan shown here is 49 by 52 and each panel is 15.5 by 51. These two red lines represent the joint between the two tablets. This is the null area, so you'll have to move the diagram to get this to trace. You'll notice here that I have two small circles with red X's. Those are the two reference points required. This is where the Jumbo software is asking me to input two reference points. Here I'm showing touching the two spots on the left side and on the right side, the circles with the red X. This will be later required when we have to move the diagram to trace that null area. You can now see the program asking for the two reference spots to be inputted. Now that we have that done, we can start doing our digitizing process. We can select the different methods of tracing this diagram and start tracing each part separately. Now you'll be able to see the area, the null area between the two tablets that your drawing is not going to show up. This is where, after you're finished, you'll move your diagram over and redraw those spots to pick up that null area. The drawing technique that I use, I select the combination selection or the curve fit through points. I like the curve fit through points because I just touch about every quarter inch and if it's around a tight area I'll touch it about every three sixteenths. An important tip here is to save your work create a file every couple of minutes just in case you make a mistake or have a problem at least you can go back to where you were before. So now we're going to redraw that area over the null area. So we have to move the diagram to the far right past that null spot and redraw the sections that are missing. So you can see why I use those red lines because that shows me what portion of the diagram I have to redraw. Before drawing those portions that you're missing you have to save the original diagram. You then open the file with alignment. Go to the edit, toggle to the area that you need to redraw, select edit portion Select Digitize and begin your drawing. In these cases, some of the diagrams you may not close up. You can see here I'm getting some of those portions in that null area redrawn. Also, I save my work frequently. So you continue this procedure until you've got all the areas in that null area redrawn and saved. And then when you're finished, you create the main file. I always call it the final. Now we need to draw the two other screens. Here I'm showing using Aspire Vectrix uh, software to do the node editing. There's a couple of those portions I need to edit out because the vectors aren't joined. This program is good for showing open vectors and then you go in there, get those vectors closed up, clean up some of the diagrams and you're set to go. When I'm finished I like to run the file through the simulator just before I create the toolpath, make sure the panel looks okay. So I'm showing here, running the simulator, and checking out my cut. Everything looks good, so now I'm all set to create two more screens and then do the toolpath for all three. This is just showing the general layout of the three panels. 
Again, I really have sped up these videos so I can get a lot of data in in one video. One of the problems I had was that my dust collector was starting to pick up some of these small quarter inch pieces and jamming things up. So I removed the dust collector completely and I'm just using a vacuum hose and pointing it at the cutter. Some of these small parts, if they get caught in the cutter and the dust collector, you can end up losing a couple of steps on the CNC. Each panel took about a half hour to cut out. And most large parts were tabbed. When I was finished, I programmed it to cut all three panels out. Shown here is cutting the three panels out, the final cut. There's also going to be some sanding involved here, as you can see that veneer kind of frays back a bit. The one thing I hadn't counted on here is the panels are so detailed, you have to make sure and put the right side up. I ended up flipping them around twice to get the right side up. It was a good thing I used those plastic clips to remove the panels easily. The three panels are finished, hinged, set up, on display, 